Hi everybody, Tim MX here, and today I want to show you how to create a look just using parallel notes after the intro. I assume that you already know how parallel notes work and what's the difference between parallel notes and layer mixer notes, for example. But if it comes to color mixing, parallel notes are a different approach to creating a look. Don't misunderstand me, the color wheels are the main tool for color grading, you know, but today we want to look to parallel notes. So let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve. So again, it's just an alternate way and you should use the color wheels and the primaries as your main tool. So let me show you how you can achieve a great look just using some parallel notes. And here we have my color corrected and white balance clip. I already increased the saturation way too much so that you can see that we have a very warm and not very color separated image. Then let's create another area node and let's say three parallel nodes. Uh, okay, this is our parallel node stack here. And in the most upper node, we start with shifting the world image way more, let's say to orange, to give the skin a nice and bit more rich tonality. And the wall image looks now way too warm for what I want to do because I will create a more color separated look. In the second node, I push the image to the opposite, so more to the bluish cyan region. This is what is called bouncing. And finally, it's compensation. So we balance out the orange by shifting this second node to the opposite direction and always an eye on the vector scope. I guess a bit more to the yellowish side would look better. Yes, and on the second note, a slightly push to the green, just to bring in more cyan. Okay, looks good so far. Now on the third note, I wanna push the deeper shadows a bit more to cyan too, like so. This looks good so far and just a latent touch of bluish cyan. And if I now turn my notes on and off, you can see that we can destruct our stage and we can see what every step, or in other words, what every note does exactly to our image. The way using parallel notes makes it a bit easier to jump back and forth or delete just a step if we are not satisfied. And on the other hand, the way the colors are mixed together by using a parallel note stack works different than using the color wheels and the primaries. We achieve a much better color separation for the mix and it's very hard to replicate that exactly with just three variable notes by using the color wheels. But let's move on. What I want to do now is to take the orange more out of the image and I will do that by reducing the orange tone to the skin. That will give me a better color contrast. I don't add an additional mask from a power window and let the other parts in the picture participate in some of this orange. So it's easier in sake of the tutorial and I don't want to isolate the skin totally just for reducing the orange in the rest of the image too. Yes, now it looks more differentiated. Let's see what we have so far, just by switching all the parallel nodes on and off. Not bad. Okay, let's add another parallel node, just for creating a bit more clarity. I guess I push the highlights a bit more and create a bit more contrast. But I think I will address only the highlights for that. And let me quickly create a qualifier for that with a very soft and smooth roll off and increasing my gain a bit and bringing down the shadows a bit to stretch it a bit more. Hmm, no, 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 that's not what I want. Maybe it works better by using my skin selection from the first node and using it as a mask, just for separating the subject a bit more from the background. So yes, this works better. Oops, sorry, <laughs> let's reset that. And I want to reduce the amount of the qualifier to reduce it a bit more to the skin highlights range. Yes. Yeah, this looks much better. 
<laughs> Oops, no, I don't want to decrease it. I want to push the highlights a bit. Working with a mouse is different than with a panel. Sorry for that. But now, okay. Okay, let's see uh, what we have so far. Um, I want to change the bluish cyan tones a bit more to green. And the first note for the skin a bit more to yellow. Looks better now and maybe a bit more balanced to the red. And now the bluish note a bit more saturated, a bit stronger just to introduce a bit more brownish tonality. Yes, makes the skin look much better now. Okay. Now let's push the red tones of the lips and the shirt a bit more to orange so that we get off this magenta zone just slightly. And I reduce the saturation simply on the U versus set curve just a bit with peak on the red and on the U versus Luma curve I push the luminosity of red a bit more and finally I adjust the saturation in general of this qualifier, but no, no, that's not what I want. I think I'm doing it in the U versus set curve. This will work better and maybe a bit deeper red would work better to get a bit more subtle effect. So I will reduce the luminosity and adjust the saturation in the curve too. Yeah, much better. Yeah, for me, that looks much better. And again, all notes on and off. And you can see how easy it is to create a simple look just by using the parallel notes in DaVinci Resolve. As I mentioned before, parallel notes work different if it comes to color mixing. And that's a different approach. And therefore, you should use it more often maybe in your color grading. So let's move on. Okay, I think a bit more contrast to my highlights of the skin tones would be great. So let me quickly do it. Here on this note, looks better now in my opinion. Okay, at the last step of this tutorial, I add another note after the parallel note stack here and I will push the saturation of my blue shades on the image. And at the same time, I give the skin a final touch, a bit more softened and less saturated, a more natural look, just by taking off the orange a bit of the skin by adding more blue into the image. And maybe a bit less luma on the magenta and red shades and a bit less saturation in the less saturated regions. Yes, this looks good. This gives the skin a more natural touch. And now we are done. As you can see, it's a very simple approach to achieve a good looking color separated look. And I will end here in sake of this tutorial. And as you know, you can make some more adjustments if you want to, for example, adding grain and a bit glow to your highlights or make the highlights more softened by lowering them anyway. So in summary, we have two arguments to use parallel notes more and often in your color grading. First, this method is much more non-destructive if it comes to color mixing. And second, the way you mix the colors works differently to just using the color wheels on serial notes after serial note. I hope I could show quickly how to create a simple but color separated look just using the parallel notes. And finally, please, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And thanks for watching and listening to you all a great time. Bye.